Welcome to a new vlog. I'm trying to get back into this vlogging thing, so um, yeah. Welcome to another vlog. I am home. I don't know what this vlog is gonna take. This might be an at home vlog or something might happen during the week, but just as I did, um, it's probably I should probably start like getting familiar with this vlogging thing again so here we are I just took a bath I am doing my skincare getting back into that as well because I kind of stopped last year but we'll get into it in my in my life update I kind of stopped and my skin has been horrible this is actually the best it's been in a while, in a long time, and we made so much progress last year. But it is what it is. I don't give it too much thought. If you start comparing your skin to your skin, you might end up in a pit. So I don't give it much thought. I just do what I need to do, and when it's time to notice results, I'll notice them. If there are no results, we'll start something. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. the agenda for today, we have meetings today, in the evening, and it's Tuesday. I'm already used to Tuesday as a day for me to do meetings. So, I need to prepare for meetings, I need to comb my hair, child, I need to comb my hair, and I need to pack, like, organize some clothes, but I don't, I'm not sure I'm going to do it today. I've been reading this book. And it's been on my mind since I've been dreamt of it. So that's what I want to get back into. Um I haven't had my breakfast yet. So maybe we'll do that when I'm done here and then we'll see where it takes us. I'm really I'm kinda of uncomfortable vlogging right now. And focus on my nose. I it was hard for me to paint this side, so I just did too. I'm really trying hard to remember how to do this because this is not natural first of all and then when you learn it you become used to it when you spend as much time away from the camera as i have or even longer ciao talking to a camera feels weird so um yeah but yeah sunscreen sunscreen this joint up the power cut just before this and I was like girl I'm about to sleep because I don't know if it's just me but when I talk about there's really no motiva more motivation to do things and things just seem cumbersome to start doing them when there's no power and let me take off my hair drab and so I don't look too much like I'm sure I don't know what I'm going to do for me things because I really don't cut my hair I'm sick of it I'm sick low key it's time for me to let this hair go low key. But I'm not sure if I'll go through with it. But if I do go through with it, that'll be something. Time for, like, I'm bored with it. And maybe it's just because, you know, when you reach a point, when you reach a certain point of combing your hair, you get tired of it, you get so sick of it. And then, if there's no prospects of you getting it braided, it just feels like you gotta go. So that's where I am. But anyway. Let's see what we'll have for breakfast and then I'll talk to you guys later. Forgive me if I'm a little rusty. This vlogging thing. I promise I'll be back sharp. And I may just give me three vlogs. Just give me three videos. But um yeah. Let's go see what we'll have for breakfast and then Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Later. Hi. Um it's like 12 in the afternoon now. I have to cook before these guys get home from school. So, um, yeah. I've been sleepy. 
and then I woke up and it's giving it's giving sleep paralysis it's giving very much if I sleep I'm gonna have some sleep paralysis and every time I have sleep paralysis I know there's something wrong like I have to backtrack mentally to check with myself what's wrong and I kind of have an idea right now but um yeah it's giving I can't, like I'm I don't want to sleep but my eyes are heavy and I had enough sleep last night and I know I know if I sleep it's going to give demo <laughs> it's going to give sleep paralysis yeah so I'm gonna try not to sleep even though I'm reading a book um yeah so I need to make it's not anything complicated it's just pasta because I made meatballs last night and um yeah that's what we're doing meetings are today so at some point around like 15 14 not 14 15 i was preparing myself to go what i'm gonna wear and stuff but yeah i'm gonna listen to some ashake and then i'm gonna listen to chefy and then i'm gonna listen to some scissor and then i'm gonna listen to some drake in that order while I cook, so I want to see you guys later. Just a face of make you want to have to eat. Just a smile, a drive you crazy for a while. And I told um a little hydration tip you have your water just drop some like a pinch of salt just a little bit of salt in it for like absorption and stuff sometimes i forget but when i do remember i do it's good for like absorption and other stuff to prevent dehydration and other stuff so, just a quick pro tip let me finish eating read my book and um put my phone on charge because i don't want it to die and then i'll talk to you guys hopefully later if i don't then it'll be another day i don't know i don't know all right so we're ready for meetings i started very soon um my mukama is loose and i like it loose because my neck is a very sensitive area if i remember stronger today i'll start laughing it feels very uncomfortable and it's tight so it's loose um yeah already almost about to start off my hair is in high but if i haven't even used the comb i just used my hands and did everything i had to do let see if i can have some conflicts and then we're gonna go i'll talk to you guys later <laughs> Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you follow me on my Instagram, I posted um something about like just um how my mental space was last year. If I have uploaded my life updates, I may or may not have talked about it. Um, yeah. So. Like, I was just, I was just a fairy. There was a lot going on. Unfortunately, I can't trust my thoughts to what exactly was going on because I had some, I had to give my my journal, the one I had, to my lecturer, who was also our counselor, because she had to go through them. I'm not gonna get it back because um, since exams are done and everything, I'm sure now it's thrown away and stuff but um yeah i really there's um if in the mountain is which is one of my favorite self help, self help books so i'll be the one i've read from page to page 
and like enjoyed and went back to there's part where she talks about like you have to find the purest purest form of being fed up and I think I kind of reached that point I don't know if it was pure pure but I reached it last year so um yeah I just it was just it was too much it was way too much it was too much guys um yeah so I just said it let me just maybe let me try try and look at the positive stuff so yeah so I got this one I actually wanted a pages journal from another because I really love those ones they look really nice like a life planner I mean it's not it's not too late to get it I can get it any time in the year I can even get it in July if I want but I really want those ones and I want two journals one like a gratitude journal just when life weighs me down a lot like I try to look for the positive stuff but I also want a um just another journal that I can like a planner I don't know maybe a planner maybe that's why that's why I want the another the pages planner or just like the really emotional things because to be honest if I I, if I feel like I'm I need to work on myself I there's nothing positive about what I write because I'm crying I'm doing other stuff so there's really nothing positive about what I write yeah anyway I got this from the people that the people that are asking me on my Instagram. I got this from Love Home at Fifty Coach. I don't really get expensive books, expensive journals. To be honest, I just go to my nearest um, Chinese store and get one. The last time I journaled was Friday, and I told you guys about like I've been having like sleep paralysis. The kind of stuff I'm doing right now is the kind of stuff I would write in the other journal if I had it. Why am I tearing up? <laughs> ah, being an emotional person is not easy, guys. Anyway, yeah, the kind of stuff I want to write now is the kind of stuff I would write in my other journal. But since I don't have it, I'm just going to write it here because I'd rather put my feelings on paper now whenever I get the other one is when I get the other one I don't want it to look like this one that's why I don't want to go back to the same shop for that one I want to I want it to look completely different because I don't want to mix them up maybe one day I'll look back at my journals and just read them and just be happy with myself and proud of myself hopefully proud of myself that's the emotion I would like to go for like in a happy place with joy and love and everything I hope you guys Join me this year on taking your mental and emotional health seriously. I've been doing that since I've been intentionally doing that since last year and last year last year is a is a year I cried more than any other year. Even more than twenty nineteen and I was going through some crap in twenty nineteen. It was like twenty nineteen two point oh because it was the same things but just more intense. So yeah, I hope you guys join me in taking like your mental health seriously, your illness seriously. Yeah, I'm gonna try recenter, look at my feelings, and just do that. If you don't know how to go about journaling, you can download an app that can give you prompts, or you can do this little thing called brain dumping. Um, it's where you just write how you feel in like bullet form regardless of the direction anything you're feeling just write it down and from the points just you just write down one and it will lead you to a whole lot of things so if you just don't know if you don't know how to go about that just brain dump brain dump whatever you're feeling whatever you're thinking write it down write it write them in bullet form but just like don't rush through it just take your time if one point actually is to another and it's to another you'll find yourself writing a whole lot of things uh, yeah, what else do I want to tell you guys? I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm actually irritated by um, chewing these things. I also can't choose a pen that doesn't have a stop. I, I just, my mother transferred this, this habit to me. She learned it in nursing school. And I'm that kind of person. Like, I would rather not write. It's like if there's heels. And there's simply just block tools and flat shoes. I'd rather flat shoes. <laughs> anyway, I said what I want to say. This is um, 
to the flowers from 2.0. I got this idea of giving giving Jenna's a name when I read when I read that book. Um, again, but better. Her journal's name was Horrox Nine. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but Horrox Nine. And then after nine was was filled, she got Horrox Ten. So I was going to give my journal's names. I'll come up with a name and then I'll tell you guys. But in the meantime, let me just dump some some stuff in my little baby. <laughs> Sunlight, oh. say my baby, get you too fine. Oh, oh. You got the best.